so this is the video tutorial you required basically if you are preparing for gate and you wanted to you know i cannot guarantee but yes i can tell you the formulas i am going to share with you formulas i am going to share with you for mv mechanical vibration all right so this is a short video in this short video i am going to share with you all formulas almost all formulas those already has been used to solve gate previous year papers based on my experience and i have solved more than 20 to 30 problems in mechanical vibration only gate problems i am talking about and the most common used formulas i am going to share with you right now in this video tutorial uh, what are you feeling what are you thinking cool okay so let's go for it first of all you need to know stiffness that is denoted by k many books follows different uh, donation and uh, not uh, different way to uh, denote this uh, k but i am sharing with you that k is stiffness okay so if a stiffness is in series okay then this series suppose that this is k1 this is k2 how to convert this series into one why i am doing this because suppose that they ask you to find out omega so we know that omega is equal to root under k by m so we have to find out total stiffness of the system so we have to find out distributed stiffness into single stiffness to find out this frequency okay so if this stiffness are in series to find out suppose that this is k equivalent to find out k equivalent what we have to do we have to do less like this 1 by k2 well you have already done this in case of resistance okay in case of resistance you have already done this in class uh, 12th class i think so so well, after calculation what we got k equivalent is equal to k1 k2 k1 plus k2 so we can say this k equivalent is equal to k1 k2 by k1 plus k2 so this is the case for series stiffness in series but if you are talking about if stiffness are stiffness are in parallel suppose that this is in parallel okay k1 and k2 then what would be its k equivalent and total k so total k is equal to in this case just add the stiffness k1 plus k2 okay now another most important example and based on that example in gate they have asked question so definitely you should know okay don't worry i am sharing with you suppose that there is a mass and a stiffness is given on the both side of the mass so k1 and k2 can you guess is this is this given in parallel or series can you guess about it this is in parallel this is in parallel consider this case is in parallel and solve it i am repeating again consider this case in parallel and then solve it okay so these are formulas first and second let's go for the natural frequency that is fn fn is equal to 1 by 2 pi into multiple omega n so we can say this 1 by 2 pi root under k by m what is k stiffness m is mass the unit of stiffness is newton per meter and unit of mass is in kg if we are talking about si unit now let's go for the next thing that is also important what is that damping factor this damping factor is denoted by zeta and zeta is known as actual damping coefficient division critical damping coefficient okay so it is c by cc and uh, c is okay cc is known as to I mean cc is equal to root 2 root under km 
this is a damping factor okay now let's move to the next logarithmic logarithmic decrement this is denoted by delta delta is equal to 2 pi zeta by 1 minus zeta square now here i will share with you something probably in the question you have to make relation zeta and this zeta and this zeta here and based on this relation i have shared with you already totals and of course they have as question in gate so if you are preparing for gate then relation in between formulas you need to understand once you will understand relation between formulas then things become quite easier for you to solve numerical problems okay and one more thing we know that angular velocity is equal to 2 pi n divided by 60 and this relation is most important for solving numerical problems related to wheeling of shaft and in case of wheeling of shaft we know that omega equal to g by delta this delta is known as deflection this delta is known as deflection of the shaft okay so these formulas are related to it now let's move to the other formulas yeah of course i have to share with you all formulas those are most important i mean two more formulas are remaining right now okay one is magnification factor because there is relation between these two formulas magnification factor f a c t y factor this is is equal to 1 by root under 1 minus omega n whole square it's again square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n it's square this is magnification factor now if we'll go for transmissibility transmissibility then it's is equal to root under 1 plus 2 zeta omega by omega n a square division division is here 1 minus omega by omega n square its whole square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square now here is the key here is the key thing to understand what's that let me share with you can you imagine relation between magnification factor and transmissibility yeah let's see we can write this equation as like this its transmissibility is equal to 1 plus 2 zeta omega by omega n square multiple magnification factor now if we'll say if it is in resonance it is in resonance then we can say omega is equal to omega n therefore what will happen omega by omega n is equal to 1 so we can put this value here 1 plus 2 zeta whole square mf so you know we can say also like like this 1 plus 4 zeta square into mf this is transmissibility so here is the relation between transmissibility magnification factor and damping factor that's why i have shared with you all these relation and uh, uh, if you know all these formulas then i hope 70 percent numerical problems you can easily solve at least 70 percent numerical problems you can easily solve those has been asked in gate previous year paper all right so my motto is to share with you all formulas most important formulas related to mechanical vibration in one video taught well so let me just review uh, again it about it so in this video tutorial what we have learned all important formulas we have studied with stiffness then we have gone for series and parallel then natural frequency then wheeling of shaft and then you know 
damping factor, critical damping coefficient, magnification factor as well as transmissibility. So all things we have learned in this video tutorial, I will recommend you to write and try to remember and to understand and to remember for long time solved numerical problems. I preferably solved numerical problems from previous year paper. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.